Take it away. Welcome back to bottom tier, everybody. Welcome back. We're we're back to Chrono Trigger. We're trying really hard to. Oh, hold on. It's a bad shape. It appears to be a humanoid robot that I bought on the internet. <laughs> Normally, I would agree with you, but this is like four hundred years in the future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So well before Amazon has been invented or long after it's closed? Like how far in the long future after, are we now? Long after, long after humanity has been eradicated. Ah, okay, I see. Now, I did want to tell you something about what I just watched this morning. Um, you remember the that show? you did. Do you remember the show Avatar The Last Airbender? I haven't seen all of it, but I'm familiar enough with it. I was watching a season three episode and like they're they're in they're undercover in the Fire Nation, right? Mm -hmm. And Aang is going off like 100 year old stereotypes of the Fire Kingdom, and oh, like goodness. it started out. The episode started out as the Bernstein Bears and the trouble with cultural appropriation, and then it became <laughs> footloose really, really quickly. <laughs> like it so like. The Fire Nation has forbidden dancing? Actually, fucking yes. <laughs> what? He infiltrates a Fire Nation school. And they don't let the kids dance or anything. And he throws them a secret dance party and then escapes. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's literally I just Footloose. <laughs> it's I Footloose was with, with... It's Kung Fu. It's Kung Fu. Kung uh, Footloose. Kung, Kung Footloose. Kung Footloose. There we go. <laughs> I, and I was like, I was like, this well, is I think just we found our episode title. <laughs> this is just Footloose with 12 year old Kevin Bacon, who is a god. Like, that's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christ. I know what we shouldn't. I, I know what I kind of want to name Robo. Okay. Is this Normally, a party I name. we get? Like, he joins us? Yes. Yes. We get a robot. But he cannot do magic. He cannot. He can punch though, he, though, right? Can he punch it? Yeah, and he gets and he gets laser beams and napalm. Oh man, I I think. But he has no life spark or no like essence, so he can't do money. Can't do magic. Right. So what are we gonna name him? Normally, I give him his serial number R sixty six Y. Yeah. But he kind of looks like a Bobo from Double Dragon. He does a little bit, and I think that we should go with that as a, as a tribute to our fans who desperately ask us to play that game, and we never play it. Uh, we'll... We have Ro we have Robobo. Oh man, do you have enough characters to make it Robobo? I wish. Ah oh, shit. Well, well, let's see, let's see. Because if you do, that needs to happen Im immediately. We might, we might fall in love. No, with... it won't. It don't have to be uh, just a Bobo. It would be. But we'll call him Robobo. It would it would it be Ro? Would it be uh? Would it limit you to Robob? Is yeah. Is that how far you'd get before you ran out of characters? Roughly. Yeah. So let's call him a Bobo, but we'll refer to him. Can as I call the... it? Can I call him Robob for short? Uh, if you insist. Okay, great. Um, you know how certain episodes of cartoons have like tropes like there are there are like yes. there are like trope episodes like every cartoon in their sister has an episode it feels like where like a certain sitcom-esque scenario happens like it feels mm -hmm. like you see that in every in every cartoon i'm trying really hard to think of an example and i'm coming up with fucking nothing uh but and you who has seen every sitcom and every cartoon just about like yeah in like the last 20 years Okay, like every like you even watched uh, the like the CJs or whatever it was. The what? I'm sorry. The do you mean the PJs? Yeah, you know. See, you knew that show on Fox, that claymation show. The, you... Yeah, see, and you fucking knew what I was talking about too. I did, and it, I did watch it. I did. I'm not. You proud. don't. You don't feel happy. <laughs> you don't feel. You don't sound happy about it. That'd be because I'm not. <laughs> I'm not real thrilled. That I've seen the PJs. Okay, I let's speed through this a little so we can. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit, I don't. I wasn't sure if I wanted to bring. What uh, happened to Froggy healing? Bro? I love Froggy Bro. I want him back. He went back to. Uh, he went back. He stayed in 600 AD. Well, the PJs conceptually, um, Jason was not the most well thought out program. 
It really wasn't. Uh, Let me double check I mean, Robos. It was created by Eddie Murphy and Larry Wilmore, but... and Well, I guess, and Steve Tompkins, but... Like, when no you really... When you really get down to the premise of the show, um... It just feel like it didn't do much. I mean, it was yeah. it was Eddie Murphy, so like, there's that was a good thing. Like, that was a very good thing, and it addressed life in a uh, an urban uh, public housing project, which like that is which also, they definitely did well for that. Yeah, that is also a good thing to address, like bring light and humor to some of those like issues that exist in that environment. Um, I lived in a housing project, so like I understand some of the problems that w exist in those environments. Mm -hmm. So, uh, like, I totally get that. Uh, with that in mind, however, I remember so little about the show, despite having watched many episodes of it, that that really kind of speaks to the quality of the program. I I remember I remember bits and pieces of it. I was really thinking the title of this episode was going to be Kung Footloose, but now I'm thinking it's an intellectual discussion and analysis of the PJs. Like, <laughs> hey, everybody, welcome back to our PJs uh, analysis podcast. <laughs> well, let me let Where me we talk take about it back America. to the... Let me take it back to the game real quick, then. No, don't do that. The game's bullshit. Well, no, I need, I need you to understand, uh, like, time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a lesson on telling time. I, I get how time works. You, not in this game, you don't. I do, you go forward and backwards and side to side, and then you slide to the left. Slide are to we, the right. Are we, One are we hop this time. Ball? <laughs> One hop this time. Freeze. Is it just like a mini Everybody ball? Everybody clap your hands. Are you MC clap your hands? <laughs> yeah, kind of. Uh, is that not, do you not do the cha-cha slide through time? Is that not how this game works? Maybe, no, we maybe, go maybe spiraling I'm... out of control through time. So yeah, you do the cha-cha slide. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same but, to uh, do all that that equates to. We're, we're gonna see, a, hopefully in this set of episodes, something really depressing. Oh man, depressing. I'm not, I don't know if I'm super ready for that. Let's, um. You won't be. Oh you man. You won't be. We'll... I mean, you'll ruin it because you've been steadily ruining the game in a way that only you can. Okay. Well, yeah, and it's really a talent that I have that I bring to most of our projects. I try really, really hard to make <laughs> everything we do as awful and cringeworthy as possible, and I feel like I've really perfected it. I've really, you've really, it. You've really stepped up your game. I've really gotten in there, and I, I've really done the damn thing. I've got it down to a science, I almost feel like. And <laughs> any day now, I should be getting my award for turning for everything cringiest up. man on YouTube. Yeah, for doing everything that we do wrong. For like just doing it wrong. <laughs> like But uh I well, no, I... The, the New York Times is gonna publish their review with that quote um that I approved that uh <clears throat> it's like the game grumps if they were shitty and fat. Like <laughs> <laughs> and I was just referring to the voices, Colton. Oh yeah, well but I'm also referring to the, and you just and you just took it to a really dark place <laughs> to the unique and terrible levels of comedy that I bring to it. Um, let's let's kill these little uh, goopy goops that you've got going on here. Acids and alkalines because science. Ah, which ones are the alkalines? The red ones. The alkalines are. That is an excellent question. The alkalines are the green ones. Okay, so the red ones are the acid. Oh, I have three of my abilities. I want you to know that that's backwards as fuck. Like, I don't welcome, appreciate- Welcome to Chrono Trigger. I don't appreciate that. Well, that's not, that's I, not the developer's fault. That's the localization team's fault. But we, not, we can blame whoever we want. That's the beauty of being on the internet. We can blame whoever the fuck a, we want. I feel like after our stream the other night, we really need to take a moment. And I feel bad that we didn't open with this, but I'd like to close us in prayer if I could. Um, because I feel like we really need to address who really deserves to be thanked for all the success that we've had so far. Oh, and, goodness. And we really need to really pay homage to somebody who's always been there with us in our hearts. Um, Jason, if you would, please. Uh, oh, okay. Bow your head in a moment of silence, please, while I deliver this. Uh, Lord, uh, Tom Hanks, thank you. Thank you for allowing us 
to be on YouTube. Thank you for always being with us in our Twitch streams, even though only people who believe in you can hear you. Um, only people who believe in you can watch the movie big. Um, thank you. <laughs> thank you for Toy Story. Uh, I won't thank you for Toy Story 3 because I haven't seen it yet. And thank you for next time on Bottom Tier. <laughs> <laughs> hey everybody let us know what you thought of today's video down in the comments below give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure you hit subscribe so you never miss a new episode